Nicolette. Mum. Oh. Whose baby is that? So there's a lot I need to explain. Oh. <laughs> this is our daughter. What the hell are you talking about? You gave me David and Aaron's baby in Canberra. I don't know what you think you're doing, Nick, but that is an Isla. Isla's in the hospital. Some lady kidnapped her. David, I think we need to go. Aaron, Come on. please, David. I promise I can explain everything. You know that woman. Brittany Barnes. I met her at my last antenatal class here in Erinsborough. It was the last class before I left. Oh, all yours. Hi, I haven't seen you here before. Yeah. I just came for the gore session. Her and EM care. Case of a tear. Oh. <laughs> well, you're gonna need one of these teas. We just clicked instantly. That's not an explanation. I just... I need you guys to know and to remember that... that this wasn't some premeditated thing. What wasn't, darling? You're not making any sense. Mum, please, just let me try and explain. The next day, I found out about... Chloe and Leo and everything you two were keeping from me. Nick, nothing happened and between you. Came you came and told me I got everything I deserved. It was a lot. And I just needed to get some air, so I went for a walk. I honestly thought nothing could make me feel worse, but then I found Brittany. Even more upset than I was. Really? What's wrong? It's my ex. I came all this way hoping that he would meet me, but he doesn't care. Oh, he's the father of your baby. He can't turn his back on you. He doesn't know that I'm pregnant. I found out just after we broke up. I just wanted to tell him in person. I've been calling and calling, but he never answers. And so I drove out to his work, this vineyard in the middle of nowhere. And when I finally got there, he answered my call. He wasn't even at the vineyard. But she was. Who? Some ex that he hooked up with. I saw her there through the window. She was sleeping it off. Leo told me that he moved on and, and that I was pathetic for following him around the world. I just couldn't tell him after that. Wait, Brittany, is... is your ex Leo Tanaka? I couldn't believe it. She was Leo's ex and... You were his latest hookup, like I thought. That's not true. Back up. That woman is Leo's ex. So the baby at the hospital. Our baby. Leo's the father? This is insane. No, look, th th this can't be right. No, it's true. Brittany and I didn't think we had anything left here for us, so we went to Canberra together. She wasn't due for another week or so, but her baby had other ideas. Outdone little Isla announced her arrival soon after. I'd seen postnatal depression enough from working in hospitals to know that Brittany was suffering really, really badly. I think she needs a feed. I've expressed some milk. Can you feed her? It's in the fridge. Brit, I can't. I can't do this. I feel. Nothing. You just need some time. I don't want it. And I was trying to figure out any way that I could help her through it, and then... Paul came and found me. This is for you. But I want my granddaughter in return. A million dollars. Are you... Like, is this even happening? for you to even make such a suggestion. It, it's obscene. I was trying to get David and Aaron's baby back. What was I supposed to do, Jane? Well, you should have told them that you'd found Nicolette before you left. And me. Don't you think we had a right to know? Yes, of course you did, but I didn't want to 
to get anybody's hopes up. Oh, right, so then you decide to go with bribery instead? And you didn't even occur to you to speak to your own son first? You couldn't give her up, though, could you? Isla. You traded a baby for money? No, I didn't keep a single cent. I gave all of the money to Brittany. Don't, you were never in America. How would you think I'd be in America? Oh, stop it, will you? This is reprehensible. Nobody is interested in what you have to say anymore. I, I was worried sick. I hadn't heard from you. What? What else is there? I thought the baby was safe with you. I honestly thought this was the best thing for everyone. But then Brittany called me yesterday. What? You're in Aaron's bro. I'm not gonna do anything stupid. But you must know how hard this is for me. She was here and she'd changed her mind and I tried to calm her down, but I could tell she wasn't really listening. And then I heard a baby was missing. How could you do this? It's a mess, I know, and I caused it. But that's why I'm here, I'm back, to fix it and to tell everyone the truth. The truth about what? 